Parenting is not an art, it's not a science. Parenting is an experience that we bring from our primary world to our secondary world. What is this primary world? Our primary world is the world in which we grew, from which we emerged, in which we as adults looked at ourselves not from the eyes of who I am today but what I gained and learnt and sponged when I was a little child. Many a times I did not like something about my parents. I did not like something about my own. Willy-nilly I bring that into my adulthood. As an adult I try being the parent to the best of my ability but these little chinks in the armor of what I did not like somehow seem to enter that domain of my being a parent. So what, I, what do I do with my primary sources? My primary sources were real. They are part of me. But can I in my secondary source? And my secondary source is the universe of my today. The world of my family today, the world of my office today, the world of my education today. So in my secondary world, what is it that I'm doing? I can take a step back, can I? And see that the realities of my parents were different from the realities that are mine today. My parent was stuck between giving me a good education but my parent was also party to her or his own insecurities and I am not my parent, I am something different. My education, my exposure and the needs of today's world and in the manner I bring up my children today are different from the needs of my parents because somehow there was a balance in that society, in that era. So what, what am I doing? I still want what my mother did but I do not have the time for it. A time has come I think when parents have to not just be parents but they also have to be friends to listen to their children, to share with them their fatigue, to share with them their difficulties, their vulnerabilities. And this can be done only when we are sitting together with our children. We are giving them the time that we can give to them. And in that, we are also sharing with them that look, I too have needs. I understand your needs. So I'm not coming as the authoritarian parent. I'm not coming as a parent who thinks I know it all. I'm not coming as a parent who feels I know better. Because the moment my tonality becomes that, that I know and you are just my child, what the child of today has his or her own exposure, has peer groups, has people around, has experiences of his own kind, and I think that complete dichotomy which comes between this is what my parents are telling me and this is what I understand. I think for generations, what we call the generation gap was only this. It's my voice vis-a-vis -vis the many voices which I've heard as a child. A time today has come where parents can pick up all the things from their childhood, they can see in a moment of contemplation. You know, it's, it's like often my couch I lie in vacant or in pensive mood. They flash upon the inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. Might be you're not watching daffodils, but you're watching your childhood go past. And from there picking up, what is it that you liked? What is it that you did not like? And I'm sure with my experiences, when I look back at my childhood, the only thing I really loved at that time 
was a good look of a loving parent, a good touch of a caring adult. I don't remember any subjects. I don't remember any education. The only education I think you will remember will be the kindness or of an adult or when you were hurt, when you were hurting. I think today as parents, we need to reflect on in that moment of solitude, probably sometimes taking a back seat and saying, this is what I liked in my childhood. Do I have the time to share it with my child? And I think this is a beautiful beginning of cementing a new kind of a relationship where I'm neither the adult nor am I just a parent or just a friend. I am the child, I am the friend and I am the parent the way I now know. Not imposing, not disciplining from outside but doing it from within by actually a time when all of us can sit together. Thank you.